We're also joined by uh, Tarek Abu Khader's aunt right now in Tampa. Now, Tarek is the 15-year-old Palestinian-American cousin of the murdered Palestinian teenager Mohammed Abu Khader, who was killed in apparent retaliation for the murder of three Israeli teenagers. Video emerged over the weekend of um, Tarek being severely beaten by Israeli officers after being detained during protests over his cousin's murder. Tarek said he was watching demonstrations in East Jerusalem when he was seized. The video shows him lying on the ground as the Israeli officers repeatedly beat him with batons. He was left with facial bruises, severely swollen eyes. Let's turn to Tarek Abu Hader in his own words. From the side, and I heard somebody screaming. They came and attacked me, and uh, actually went unconscious. And I woke up in the hospital. Why did what they did attack you? I, I don't know. That's why I ran. Did you throw they, they, said, no. they said that you were no. throwing stones. You didn't? Eventually. They said that you were throwing stones, something like this. No, I, I jumped the fence and I tried to run away because I just saw something, somebody running at me. So I tried to run away. So, Tarek Abu Khader, the young man you just heard, um, if you're listening on the radio, his, uh, he has two black eyes, has been charged with assaulting a police officer and has been released into house arrest in East Jerusalem. He actually lives in Florida, but is in East Jerusalem for the summer visiting his family. Um, he was with his cousin Mohammed just moments before Mohammed was kidnapped and murdered last week. In a statement, the State Department said it was profoundly troubled by the assault, calling for a speedy, transparent, and credible investigation and full accountability for the apparent excessive use of force. Joining us now from Tampa, Florida, from PBS Studios, WEDU, is Suhad Abu Khader. Um, she is Tarek's aunt, um, as and well as a relative of Tarek's slain cousin, Mohammed. Um, welcome to Democracy Now! Thank you so much for joining us. Our condolences. Can you talk about what you now understand um, is happening with Tarek and what happened to Mohammed? Thank you for having me. Um, what I understand now is, like you were saying, he's on house arrest and has to pay a fine, which I think is very ridiculous, because after what he's endured, we should be the ones compensated at this time. Um, as far as Mohammed, um, we're still in mourning. You know, the whole city of Shafat is in mourning, because it's such a close-knit family. Even the Nana Bukadirs in that village have grown up with the Abu Qadir family for several generations. So everybody feels with us at this time, and we're still in mourning. <clears throat> so I want to get your response to uh, Mickey Rosenfeld. He's a spokesperson for the Israeli police. Uh, he said Tarek was one of six Palestinians arrested, uh, three of them carrying knives, after a clash in which 15 Israeli officers were injured. Um, and, and he said Tarek was part of, of this uh, rally where hundreds of rioters, many of them masked, hurled at, at the Israeli forces pipe bombs, Molotov cocktails, fireworks and stones. Uh, what's your understanding of, of what Tarek was doing at this protest? First of all, um, when you're inside your house and you're 15 years old and you hear commotion downstairs, it's kind of hard to stay inside. <laughs> so you go down and you look and you wonder, what's going on here? You know, and from a distance, he could see the protesting, but he was nowhere near it. If there was that many protesters around him, where were they when he was getting beat up? Wouldn't they have intervened? Somebody would have intervened. And to have all these weapons that they're claiming, somebody would have definitely intervened. But as far as everybody's claims that uh, the six that were with him had all these weapons, they, all the weapons that they could have had in the world the, don't even justify this brutal attack with nobody around him. You can see in the video, nobody's within the vicinity of Tariq. And this is un absolutely unjustifiable. You have three uniformed men that are in full combat gear, weighing at least 200 pounds each, 150 pounds, against a 15-year-old.